Hi everyone, I am Arun Julkar and today we will talk about ordinary annotating. What do you mean by ordinary annotating? An ordinary annuity is a series of equal payments made at the end of consecutive periods over a fixed length of time. Please remember, an ordinary annuity is also known as immediate annuity. It is an annuity the first payment of which is made at the end of the first payment interval. And this interval may be monthly, semi-annually, quarterly or annually. Future value of annuity equals to amount of annuity whole multiplied by 1 plus i whole raised to the power n minus 1 divided by i where i equals to r upon m and n equals to m into t and m is number of time interest compounded in a year and if interest compounded continuously then the formula for future value of annuity is future value of annuity is equals to integration of r multiplied by e raised to the power rt respect to dt where limit 0 to n For example, find the amount of an annuity of rupees 2 lakh payables at the end of each year for 5 years if the money is worth 8.5% effective. In this example, annuity amount is rupees 2 lakh, so capital R is 2 lakh, interest rate is 8.5% effective, so i equal to 0 0.085 and the number of years are 5, so n equal to 5 and we want to calculate the future value which is a, so a is missing. In ordinary annuity, Future value equals to capital R multiplied by 1 plus i raised to the power n minus 1 divided by i. Put r equals to 2 lakh, i equal to 0 0.085 and n equal to 5 and after calculation we will get the value of a 11,85,074 rupees and 57 pesa. Next example. Find the amount of an annuity of rupees 5000 payables at the end of each 6 month for 4 years if money is worth 9% compounded semi annually. In this example, annuity amount is rupees 5000, so capital R is 5000. Interest rate 9% compounded semi annually, so small i is 0 0.09 divided by 2, which is equal to 0 0.045. Investment period is 4 years and payments are made at the end of every 6 month, so n equal to 4 multiplied by 2, which is equal to 8. And amount is missing. In ordinary annuity, future value equals to capital R multiplied by 1 plus i raised to the power n minus 1 divided by i. Put r equal to 5000, i equal to 0 0.045, and n equal to 8, and after solving, we will get the value of a 46,900 rupees and 7 pesa. Next example, when interest compounded continuously, find the amount of an annuity of rupees 20,000 payables at the end of each year for 5 years if money is worth 10% compounded continuously. In this example, annuity amount of rupees 20,000, so capital R is 20,000, rate of interest is 10%, so small r is 0.1, and the number of years are 5, so n equal to 5, and we want to calculate the future value. If interest compounded continuously, then the future value equals to integration of capital R multiplied by e raised to the power small rt respect to dt, where limit 0 to n. Put capital R equals to 20,000, small r 0.1, and n equal to 5, and integrate. e raised to the power ax integration is e raised to the power ax divided by a. So integration of e raised to the power 0.1t is e raised to the power 0.1t divided by 0.1. After putting upper and lower limit, we get 20,000 multiplied by e raised to the power 0 0.1 multiplied by 5 whole divided by 0 0.1 minus 20,000 multiplied by e raised to the power 0 0.1 multiplied by 0 whole divided by 0 0.1. We will get future value of rupees 1,29,744 and 25 pesa. Next example, if a bank pays 8% interest compounded quarterly, what equal deposit have to be made at the end of each quarter for 5 years if you want to have rupees 150000 at the end of 5 years in this example future value is given 150000 so a equal to 150000 interest rate 8% compounded quarterly so i equal to 0 0.08 divided by 4 which is equal to 0 0.02 number of years are 5 and interest compounded quarterly so n equal to 5 multiplied by 4 which is equal to 20 and we want to calculate the value of r capital r in ordinary annuity, 
future value equals to capital R multiplied by 1 plus i raised to the power n minus 1 divided by i. Put capital A equals to 1,50,000, i 0.02, n equal to 20 and after calculation we will get the value of R 6,173 rupees and 51 pesa. Next example. If market pays 12% interest compounded continuously, what equal deposits have to be made at the end of each year for 20 years if you want to have rupees 10 lakh at the end of 20 years? In this example, future value is 10 lakh, so A equals to 10 lakh. Interest rate 12%, this implies I equal to 0.12 and N equals to 20 because it's a problem of 20 years. And we want to calculate the amount of annuity, so R is missing. If interest compounded continuously, then the future value equals to integration of capital R multiplied by e raised to the power small rt respect to dt, where limit 0 to n. Put a equals to 10 lakh, small r 0.12 and n equals to 20 and after calculation we will get the value of n of t. 11,972 rupees and 25 pesa. This is the required amount should be deposited at the end of each year for 20 years if you want to have rupees 10 lakh at the end of 20 years. Now some example on present value of NOT. In this example, find the present value of an NOT of rupees 20,000 payable at the end of each year for 5 years if the money is worth 7% effective. In this example, annuity NOT amount rupees 20,000 Interest rate 7% effective, this implies i equal to 0 0.07 and the number of years are 5, so n equal to 5 and we want to calculate p, present value. Present value of annuity equals to amount of annuity, the whole multiply by 1 minus 1 plus i raised to the power minus n divide by i. Put r equal to 20,000, i 0 0.07, n equal to 5 and after calculation we get the value of p. 82,000, 3 rupees and 95 pesa. One more example on present value where interest compounded continuously. In this example, find the present value of an annuity or rupees 10,000 payables at the end of each year for 5 years if the rate of interest 6% per annum compounded continuously. In this example, annuity amount 10,000, so R equal to 10,000, interest rate 6%, this implies I equal to 0 0.06 and the number of years are 5, so N equal to 5 and we want to calculate the present value that is P. In case interest compounded continuously, the formula of present value is P equal to integration of capital R multiplied by E raised to power minus RT respect to DT where limit 0 to N. Put capital R 10,000, small r 0 0.06 and n equal to 5 and after calculation we will get the value of p 43,196 rupees and 96 pesos.